Hey, what up everyone? I'm DJ. And I'm Karina. And we are here with another vlog. This one's a little different in the setting. Uh, we're not more so on the go. Um, we're at our house, you guys. We are at our house chilling. Three top worst investments and our three top best investments. So we're gonna give you guys the three best ones and the three worst ones that we would say do not do. I mean, ultimately it's up to you. We're just here to give you guys our stories. Right? From experience. From experiences and... But I mean, our three worst that I first that popped into my head aren't really worse. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll I figure mean, it out. Yeah. They're, so gonna they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. But anyways, first to start with this, we're going to open this package, you guys. It's from Cold Press Juice. And he's going to have to choose one to drink for today's video. We got the Poopa Loop. <laughs> Just kidding. This one's apple kill and wheatgrass. Or um, I, actually they're all the same. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry. So never mind. I was gonna make him choose one, but guess you're having the same one I am. Pick your straw though. Close oh, your eyes. Pick back, your straw. Factor meal blue. <laughs> Give me blue. Factor meal. No fun. Here. All right, and I'm gonna do. Wait, why do we need a straw for? Because we're gonna be bougie and fancy today. Okay. So first, you gotta shake your drink. All right, don't forget. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. So you guys, this juice is from Factor. We're gonna be drinking this juice for today's video. Um, let's see how it tastes. Nah, it has. Expired. I can't drink it. Wait, what does yours have? Does it have the same? Yeah, right. <laughs> vitamin A, vitamin Z, Apple, vitamin K. Kale, wheatgrass. I don't know. You need these vitamins, you guys. We've been eating too many Krispy Kreme donuts that today we decided to go a little healthier, you know. <laughs> All right, All right, you guys. So let's get into this video. Wait, wait. First, let's try this. Cause I... Okay. Ready, guys? Wait, cheers. It doesn't smell too bad. Okay. It smells pretty good. Okay, boomerang. Oh, wait. Should we boomerang? You guys, if you guys aren't following us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram. We try to get some content out there every day. A um, little bit of everything, you know what I mean? A little bit of fun, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of memes, a little bit of my dogs, a little bit of my neighbor. You guys, boomerang tip. Always start in when you're doing your boomerang cheers. One, two, three. We're going to start, like we said, this video is about our three worst investments and our three best investments we've done so let's start the by worst. the worst the worst what was our first worst investment i think i'll take this one i would have to say when dude i don't even remember how old we were i we think were we were like three what? years four 20. years married at the no time. we had just moved to san francisco yeah so we've been married like two, at least two years from then it was the first year i think no it was not okay the second and year. at least the, the third at least the third it was in the third because when we moved to san francisco we lived in this apartment that was so overpriced we decided to move in the first three months we moved into that other apartment and then you were like Oh, oh yeah, we yeah. yeah. So, no, at yeah, least okay, we'll call it right? our yeah. third year married. Facebook marketplace, just like yeah, ago, everything like. just barely started, like with Facebook groups and um, how everything is so easy, easily accessible, exact, accept, accessible, accessible, yeah. accessible. And so, anyways, there was a, a clothing line up for sale. It was called Conclusive Clothing. And I remember it because I saw it. It was super cheap. Some teenager was selling it i was going to school he was full-time in the military um and i think that was the downfall of that yeah. one because Why it didn't what, work. what you came to yeah what you came to realize is that clothing line is a money pit and it's you no need joke. and no you need joke. time after time after time but i would say this though because i would say it was 10 years ago because that's when youtubers were popping because i remember and they had an elementary school across the street from where we live and it was a YouTuber meet and greet. Yeah. And I went there and shout out to Tim Delaghetto because I met him and I had him wear a t-shirt. Yeah. Shout uh, out to you, Tim Delaghetto. Yeah, you so if you scroll in that go. timeline on Instagram, do you there? Should we put there, that link? We oh. should put the picture. Okay, I'm gonna put the link right here. Check that Instagram out. We haven't, dude, we haven't posted obviously in years, but that was our first clothing line. Yeah. You know, oh, and then, and then, and then, and then, 
And then that same year, the NBA All Star Game came to San Francisco. Yeah. And we went and we met a a, a basketball player, uh, Tyrone something. He he played for the Raptors. He yeah. was a rookie at the time, and we gave him sh we gave out a bunch of shirts. Remember, like, yeah. like dude, those are memories. Marketing. But marketing. that's what. Even though it seemed very positive yeah. and very like this is gonna pop off, like we're good, we're getting all these designs, like. We but didn't. it was simple. It wasn't designs. It was. It like, wasn't designs. Like a. It was a logo. Yeah. It was a logo. But I'm. But we had designs and shirts. Like we were gonna put our logo this way, these mm -hmm. colors. We were gonna do all that. So we had already kind of had an idea where we wanted to go with this, but straight up, we didn't have the time that we thought we were gonna or have. Or the capital. Or the capital because you need capital if you want to start investors a and. Yeah, we didn't have investors. We didn't look into it, which we could have, you know, and we didn't. We were just wrapped up in our other things we were doing, which was uh, kind of a um, blessing in disguise because you never know. Like, I think I'm a big believer that everything happens for a reason, and we didn't really um, understand how much money it took to start that and something that we weren't 100% there at that moment. It kind of felt like it wasn't worth it, you know, and we did lose money because Oh, yeah, it, yeah, for sure. We, lost, we money. lost money like just with stuff that we didn't put But it wasn't out. a crazy amount though. It that wasn't was it wasn't but to buy this clothing line We did spend money mm -hmm. So I mean we did lose that and I think that was one of the worst investments only because we weren't ready We weren't ready. We didn't know we didn't have a goal to meet we were just thinking of things and like just going with the flow and it should enough with any business you need a plan you mm -hmm. need goals you need a plan you need the proper um guidance if you don't have it i you need to make time hey, to learn that. a lot of keys and right there daddy like key one <clears throat> key two. Oh wait wait we can say mentorship yeah mentorship too key three capital capital definitely. and then the main key of plan yeah the plan because that's what i can definitely say I, but but like you said it is learning experience because all of these I can definitely say helped to where I'm at now in my real estate career mm -hmm. with having a plan having mentors having guidance yeah, for sure. having funding you know what I mean mm -hmm. it, it comes so, full circle so I, I, I would chop that up as a worst learning experience yeah for sure yeah do you remember what it stood for um Conclusive and end of doubt end of all doubt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's conclusive end of all doubt That was the name. I mean Never know you guys <laughs> we might pick it up, but no that was one of the worst investments Young because I remember we had saved up all this money and we gave it up, you know, and it didn't work out But I, I think I think that's who we are as people mm -hmm. We are go-getters and we are ambition ambitious yeah. to try things which leads us into our second worst second, investment yes which our second I, i'm gonna take this one as my fault okay because what, what okay so we just, actually they're all your fault <laughs> uh, <laughs> because uh well, yeah good well, <laughs> but uh i got an idea <laughs> no but um we just got out of the military uh moving back to san diego we were living with her mom at the time humble beginnings remember that <laughs> Uh, so we're know, staying. Out, we're staying at your mom's house. She was uh, gracious enough to allow us to live there till we got back on our feet, and we wanted to do something nice for her. So yeah, um, she never really had. Well, in my opinion, and well, since I've known. And you, you guys, by the way, this is when we moved back from San Francisco. So it actually all. This is six years three ago. Yeah. Stories go like hand in hand. Like mm -hmm. yeah, we had just moved back. And okay, so. Anyways. Um. For so her. We, yeah. It was myself. for her sixtieth. No. Oh, because we were gonna oh, throw no, her no, a no, party. No, 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 no. Well, no, we the wanted main to just, reason we wanted to do something was because we were staying at her house. And wanted to do know? something nice for her. But on top of that, she also turned 60. Yeah. Right? And we were going to throw a huge party to put the cherry on top yeah. for all the appreciation. So um, we wanted to host it at her house. And the backyard, in my opinion, which is all dirt. Yeah. There was It was like dirt. Front yard was all dirt. Yeah. So, I, you know, me, a little background. Me, me, my grandpa, we used to install sprinklers at people's house. My, my grandpa was really good. He could lay tile. He could do all types of stuff. We laid, you know, it's crazy. Well, I've laid sprinklers 
at Stan Musial. No, well, his name's Stan. He's an actor in Fried Green Tomatoes and a boxing movie. I laid sprinklers at his grass. Side wow. note, his wife actually coached me in running. <laughs> no way. Yeah, she was a UCLA track star. Oh, yeah. I think you did tell yeah. me that story once. And yeah. then um, my, we also laid um, tile at uh, Lakers um, house. Um, in, in wow, LA. realtor, manager, entrepreneur, contractor. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got that background. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I was like, oh, I can, I got this. You know, we could do this. Worse than, I would say investment. Yes, it was cheap up front, but it turns out to be worse long term because real grass requires a water bill. It requires a gardener. Or I gotta go cut it. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I don't cut it. Yeah. And it's easier to hire a gardener. Yeah. So and then, that was yeah, that was so, one of our worst. But now that we have artificial turf at our real house, at so our house, beneficial. So if I can go back in time, I I would at that time artificial turf wasn't cool. Yeah. So I would say real grass was maybe twelve cents a square foot, and artificial turf was ten dollars a square yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you had let's just say two hundred square feet. You're looking at you know two grand compared to you know a couple hundred bucks, right. right? But now long term, if you really think about it, we've well surpassed what we would have spent on the on the real grass on the artificial grass for sure. So if I could go back on that one, I'm, I don't regret doing it because her house looks amazing mm -hmm. with the palm tree and the grass and we the didn't backyard. put the palm tree though, huh? No, but it started nourishing after yeah. like. I don't know, man. These plants are mine of their own, but it looks uh, curb appeal. It looks so pretty, yeah. Like, good, like mm -hmm. curb appeal looks great. I just, yeah, I wish I just we would have done fake turf. Fake turf because, yeah. yeah, the. And then at the party, like people were walking on it, and we just laid it like a week prior, and it like made the grass never really recovered after <laughs> that. But uh, there's like, all little holes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was definitely like uh, a one that made me like really like why did we go with real grass knowing that we're gonna have to get a gardener he doesn't have time you know mm -hmm. um and we want to say water at the end of the day well we weren't in a drought at that time no we're always in a drought we're in san diego we always in a drought so we, if we were in a drought they would close the water park we weren't in a drought at that time you know what i mean I don't remember honestly. We I know weren't. there was no they weren't conservating water, but we did get a letter no, in the mail saying that if you have an odd number, you can only water on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Remember that? Because we're wearing a water. Oh, yeah, now. I guess we were in a drought. <laughs> All right, you guys, are you guys ready for the third worst investment? That investment. Investment. I what? said invention earlier. Oh. All right, you guys. So this is our third worst investment that. We're I not, thought we were gonna blow hold on. up. I thought Let we me were say this. This is actually the first time that we're putting this out there. We have not said a word about it other than our really close friends and family. We were trying to avoid because we really had high hopes, thinking everything was gonna work out and it didn't. And do you guys know the truth, I guess, of what happened? Because there's a lot of things that are we didn't say and we should have but we were just hoping for the best and the best didn't happen let's just say that but that's what investments are yeah you exactly. you, you gamble you, you take, gamble you it's a big gamble you guys yeah, it's, and it's, it's, it could either work or it can and if you know but i'm happy that we took the risk yeah because you just never know yeah like and, and we had hope we're hopeful but like all investments mm -hmm. they're teaching they're experiences teaching. yeah and it is a gamble you do definitely roll the Such dice a gamble you guys and you you either go all in or you don't but that's one thing i did learn from all three of those is that you go all in or you don't which i can gladly say by learning how to go all in it has helped me in my real estate career so whether you want to be a real estate agent or you want to be a business owner or you want to be a clothing designer or you want to be a youtuber just fucking go all in. Go all in. I would definitely say that's like a major key. Yeah. Just go all in. Um, but one thing that we couldn't go all in on is our third worst invention. Our, and in our first. And our investment <laughs> was um, we invested into a medical marijuana company. The reason that one didn't work out is um, I would say do your research. Yeah. Right? You can't always take people's word. Even though we did do our research, right? We, I'm not gonna say we were scammed, mm -hmm. 
but we, we were but scammed. I can definitely <laughs> but I can definitely we're hint kinda. towards it. Yeah. You know, because obviously we're adults, we knew what we were doing, we knew what the investment was. But when you do it at a lawyer's office, when you have signed documents saying that you have ownership and all of that those type of things, the only thing I can say is zero a hundred percent ownership of zero is still zero right fifty percent ownership of something of zero is still zero right so for that person you know when they're because i didn't have the time to take on a new venture right so when you're an angel investor and you just give money to help someone grow their business you're relying on them to grow the business and the person that we gave the money to so i can definitely say we did the research but the person that was supposed to grow that business he didn't do his job. He did not. Right. Right. Whatsoever. Between not paying the employees. And that was the major. That was the, the, huge. The, like the biggest turning. When the employees point. are calling us. Yeah. yeah. Like the, when the employees call the investors to ask when they're getting paid, then That's, you know something's wrong. Right. And people, it's crazy how people can put up this front of everything is perfect when it's really not. And I, if I can just be honest. If you're struggling or you need help, ask. Yeah. For help, right? Because there's so many resources out there. If you don't want you don't know what you're doing, it's okay to say, I don't know what I'm doing, and let's all figure it out collectively. Mm -hmm. And that's But instead we got lied to, mm -hmm. misled. Misled, lied take to Take advantage of. Took an advantage. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I, I could go on and on about And 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 we're lucky because you know we we had savings for that but i can definitely say there for is investments for investments yeah we definitely have our own investment account but i can definitely say people who did it that gave up their life and savings, that's what hurt us that's most. that's killer we yeah. were so let's just i'm gonna go into a little bit more detail because when we started with with um should i just say the name yeah so when we started with hidden leaf collective they they when we would go to these meetings before we invested in all sorry guys our camera died i have to get up and move it so if it's not the same frame sorry but the biggest thing to us we went to these meetings everything seemed legit mm -hmm. at a lawyer's office at a lawyer's office i mean also i also want to remind you guys this was in the beginning of it all right in the beginning where it was where, where it was unregulated un we could, you can definitely say it was a wild wild west of like the gold rush, right? Yeah. It was just like unregulated. Um, but I will tell you this, it wasn't an ultimate loss because we did receive half of our investment back, right? We did, but let me tell you guys why this was the worst investment and a lesson learned to your penny over there. Um, I think, again, sometimes we get wrapped up in our life, I guess. I don't know, where maybe we should have we did as much research as we could we did right but when you have someone in a lawyer's office and they're telling you all these great things and you know and and this is this is a shop we're gonna do and all this stuff and you're like awesome we see the the money coming in you know and we see all all the money and you're seeing this you're obviously gonna believe it because i mean it would be different if you didn't see the money he i'm gonna say his name because it's the truth. Marcelo, the guy who we invested in with Healing Collective, he was the CEO, whatever. Um, he showed us all this. So we believe and we saw that he was bringing in money. He had these plans, all these wonderful things. He was going to open this great um, two stores. Two, permit. Per, he permit has a permit, store. which now it's kind of like, I mean, where did we get to where you're at a lawyer's office, you guys like this is a, in La Jolla, one of the best lawyers out there. You're going to believe it. You know what I mean? And I mean, to till this day, I kind of want to fucking sue the lawyer because I don't know if he knew what was going on or, or, or if he knew this was all fake. If the papers were fake. I don't know. But he could have been misled. Too. He could have been misled too. Uh -huh. You only know what Marcelo is telling everyone, and that's what and that and that's what that's what we're saying. Like ultimately, yeah. at the end of the day, we did everything we could. We could until and the we got we once we started getting calls of the employees not yeah. getting paid. Then you start and we would, a deeper yeah, down. and and we gave them a loan. 
you know what I mean? It yeah. was alone. It, wasn't a, it, it, it was, a, yeah, technically it was alone. It was pretty much alone. So we still had to get our monthly payments. He stopped making those the third month in, you know, and we still believed in him. I was still showing up, doing these crazy kits to like sell and planning to help him because he needed help. I was seeing him struggle at this point when, when I had to put my career on pause, you know, because I felt like, well, I don't want to lose this investment, but I mean, I, I need to do something, you know? But once he started avoiding our calls, not paying the employees, mm -hmm. not delivering, not doing so many things, we felt like, gosh, I think we got scammed pretty much, you know? It was so hard to or, get other investors calling us, remember? And we could say, instead of saying, well, we instead of, because scam is a harsh word, okay. right? We it felt like flags. we got scammed. Yeah. And we started seeing the red flags. Yeah. And that's when, you know, it just went downhill from there. But I mean, we can definitely say the learning experience from that was, I don't think, I mean, yeah, there is learning experiences, but I mean, we did everything we could. Just honestly. don't invest in a marijuana company unless you're starting it and you're in charge of it and you know what you're doing and. No, you can't say that because, okay. because people, I, I, I don't know, it just, there's no way to call it. Like you, if, if you do the research and you feel good enough to lend someone that money, then you know it's you, a gamble. You, you know right. It's yeah. a gamble. So I don't. I mean, can you say it was? I can say we can say it's the worst because we didn't get our money back. We and lost some. a we lot lost. of you guys. This was our biggest investment we did. We only lost half of our our loan, the payment loan to him though. Yeah. You know, at least we but got we, half back. Yeah, we got half back. But so I don't care. But it's not, it's dude. Loss. Like this is a thing. It what gets to us is that the people weren't getting paid. You know, like the people mm -hmm. who worked there all day, who were literally dealing with mm -hmm. the distribution, everything, these people weren't getting paid. Even the growers weren't getting paid. You mm -hmm. know, he put us in a, such a bad position, like yeah. such a terrible, and here we're thinking everything's fine and gravy, you know, and here I am, we're repping this company, while in the background, all this stuff was going on that we had no idea about so but that's not and we fault. didn't make a penny out of it too not a, literally a penny like out of that we lost money. no yeah lost but it's not our fault no and once I we know. started seeing all of these things yeah we were like dude we're know, out of we this like we yeah, yeah and, and yeah we're out and of you it. know feel sorry and for everyone who was involved yeah, because you know it's it sucks not it only sucks. on our end but the investors to the workers, there was other and, investors yeah, we're not like, the only one we weren't the only investors I think you that's, probably what, had like seven, that's what i'm people. saying the capital was there do you know oh, what easily. i mean the capital was there and nothing happened and and permits permits and you know? so we don't know what happened to this day we haven't talked to him marcelo you see this video give us a call bro I just, those people need to get an apology from you a conversation a with conversation like honestly because yeah, i'm just curious what happened what happened so that way we can put it in our little learning book yeah. and be like okay to tell. this like, is what this is what happened and if something like this ever happened again this is how we can mm -hmm. surpass that or this is what we can look out for yeah exactly and that really taught us a big lesson of the best investment for eternity will be yourself yourself and real estate because real estate will always have your back which is a great segue for do we have any good investments? Yeah, let's do our top three best investments now. The house. House. Boom. Rental property. Real estate. Real estate. We could just say real estate in general. Yeah. Um. That's you'll never go wrong with investing in real estate, you guys. Mm -hmm. And we're not just saying this because we are in the real estate industry. No, I'll be honest. And I and you can ask any one of my clients. This is the conversation I have with them. Now, I'm no financial advisor, but I will tell you this. In the four years that I've been in the real estate business, no, I have not been in during a crash, but I will tell you the numbers do say that if the market crashed, home prices still appreciated during that time, right? So I always tell my mm -hmm. clients this, buy what you can afford. So if you can afford whatever you're paying in rent, that's, and, and you can afford a little bit more toward a house, toward a condo, it's still an appreciating asset. And I will say this, I, well, we stopped investing into our 401k IRA accounts and we started allocating some of those funds into real estate because of the uh, potential returns. 
Now keep in mind, you're gonna have ups and downs, right? That's just life. Same with the stock market. We can have that argument that you're gonna have the ups and downs, but one thing that's more controllable than the stock market is real estate. One, people have to live somewhere, and if you can't afford your mortgage, then you can rent it out to someone who can, right. but you still keep that asset. That was the best investment, you guys, mm -hmm. real estate. Second would be definitely the Tesla. Oh, right? forgot about that. Honestly? Yes, no gas is nice. Like I would say the only thing that sucks is if you forget to charge. Yeah. And you have to go to the thing, but it only takes like 30 minutes. <laughs> but you know what? I could forget my cash because you don't got to pay for gas. You no. know what I mean? So. No. But, but. We saved a lot of money on the test. And, and like, maintenance. Like in maintenance. Yeah. Like, dude, like just on gas. I mean, how much were we spending a month? before we got the Tesla. Oh, uh, I want to say at like, least 80 bucks a week. Yeah. On gas. Dude, I was going to say about 400 a month. Yeah. On just whatever, gas. what? 8 times 4, yeah, 320 bucks. Or like somewhere crazy. And then and then you got to think about oil changes every 6 month or yeah. what? 6,000 miles. Yeah, it oil was changes, crazy. tire. With the Tesla, so far it's just tires. Yeah. And um brakes. Yeah. You guys get yourself a Tesla best investment no I, I i like like tesla 100 you guys yeah best investment and you can use a carpool and they're like what by yourself by yourself that, guys and people hate when they see me alone in the carpool yeah lane. and you yes. can drive it the car will drive itself <laughs> yeah and it drives itself in too, the carpool so. lane i mean that's pretty wicked so get yourself a tesla yeah okay so third best investment must be The Roomba. The Roomba. Yes. The Roomba. Yes. Yeah. Bring her out! <laughs> you don't realize how much stuff you bring in from outside until you have floors. Like, it was to a point where we would sweep, and then you would see a little dust bunny run across the floor. Yeah. Like, what the heck? And But once we got that Roomba, yeah, it can you put it on much. an autopilot, on a schedule. Dude, we, yeah. we put it because the dogs go berserk when yeah. they see it. So we put it at night when everyone's sleeping. It just goes through the house, and it's like perfect. Life yeah. changer. Like, what well, do you miss vacuuming with? Hell to the na na na. No, I do not. Oh uh, yeah. So. We wake up to a nice clean floor, no allergies in the morning because the hair, you know, achoo, no more. But that's definitely one of the best ones. Yeah, I like the Roomba. The Roomba. But I don't know. I think the Roomba is tied with Google. Why do you say that? Because Google comes clutch. We have a Google in the yeah, kitchen, you're right. in the living room. Okay, so they come in ahead and Google Home. We can just, okay, we can say Smart House. Smart house. Smart house yeah. is definitely the third best For sure. investment. Because yeah. we have the smart thermostat. Mm -hmm. So we can be like, hey Google, turn off the AC. Mm -hmm. Okay, changing two thermostats. Well, it, See? it's on your phone, but usually our speaker is usually a speaker. But yeah, you, and you can control it anywhere. Mm -hmm. So like, let's just say we're at the mall or I work all day and we look at the temperature at home and it's like 86. We can turn on the AC for mm -hmm. when we get home. Um, when I, we're this, gone yeah. for too long? We don't have it where we can turn on and off the lights. I think, yet. Yet, yeah. <laughs> I do want to get it for the blinds though. Imagine just like, hey Google, we'll open the blinds. That'd yeah, be sick. that would be sick. That would be definitely be dope. But I can definitely say the smart home is definitely, which is why I give out Google Homes when yeah. my clients close on a house because once I got one, we bought one for the kitchen, for the bedroom, for the bathroom. For the living room, for the office. Yeah. Like Google is, is, is Alexa, all of them. They're no, just, it's the best. They're clutch, yeah, for sure. So I and definitely the, put you that put that the Google Home at night with the white noise and oh, the yeah, soothing yeah. sounds. Yeah, the it, can, rain it connects to Spotify. Spotify. Now the new ones with yeah. the cameras, you can um, FaceTime people. Um, you can ask to tell you how to chop an onion mm. on the YouTube one. I like that one. I like that one. The one with the screen. Tells yes. You all that. Yes. But yeah, you guys, there you have it. There's our our worst three and our best three, and I'm curious to hear your guys's. Yeah. You know, you don't have to put it, it publicly in the comments, and you guys, but you can message us and tell us, and you know, we 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 won't judge you at no, all, if, as long all. as you don't judge us. 
for our in investments. <laughs> yes, but, these were clearly just investments. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's life, guys. Life happens. You know, and if you're not investing in something, in anything, you're doing something wrong. Invest in something. It could be one thing only, you know, but something you work towards or just anything. Anything. You IRA know? account. IRA. If yeah. it's, if, even if it's CD, investing in yourself, bonds. you put, you know, 10% of your paycheck away each each month. Like shares. Anything. 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 You say like once you get a tattoo, you want to get more. Mm -hmm. I feel like with investments, it's kind of like that. Yeah, but then that's like at Vegas, and you roll three sevens <laughs> in a row, and you're like twenty five on black, Let's go. and then you lose it all. <laughs> yeah, so let's pause that and all take right, a choco right. on that one <laughs> because it's not like tattoo. I mean, it is. It's addicting. You're right. It definitely is addicting. And, or you just want to, yeah, do more until you lose it all. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, but that didn't but stop that's, us. Look at no, us now. Hey. But, <laughs> but that's the point of investment. It, it, yeah. it really is. So, I don't know. Hey okay, guys, that concludes our video for today for our top three best and worst investments, you guys. So, cheers to that. Mm -hmm. Cheers to many more good ones. Cheers to many, many more. But I know we're going to make mistakes too along the way. Yeah. But that's 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 what we call the big L. Yeah. And I'm not talking about loss. I'm talking about life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> please make sure you like, subscribe, and give us a big thumbs up. And if you like this video, make sure to comment down below. Put a little heart. Put an investment sign. Hashtag investments for life hashtag beyond investments you know something cute whatever are right, you guys peace, peace in, in the, the middle, middle east, east.